chilling today. Welcome back. Hey, Karoop. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I took me a break and I'm back. Mm -hmm. How you been? Is everything is perfect as we left off? I got me some good time away. I went traveling. I was just being. Making some moves for my um upcoming Sedona retreat. If you're interested, the um, registration is open and available. My website is back up again. On my website, the link is in my um, bio. If you go to my profile page and click on my website, it'll bring you to the home screen. And you'll see right underneath the picture that I have a, the picture of me that I have a um, registration form for my upcoming trip to Sedona. We're doing a, a woman's retreat and it's limited space in there so because i wanted to have an intimate setting so while i was gone part of it was me preparing to go to sedona this year in september is um is the uh, date or the month that hey danny is the month that i'm shooting for but i just came to check in for a little bit i don't really have a subject today a topic today i just really came to say hi and i let y'all know that my website is back up. I'm about to juice me some orange, orange and um, just one grapefruit. Cause I wanted something to drink. And I want to drink these oranges. These are uh, y'all know me. Y'all know I'm about to talk about um. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. These are uh, Valencia oranges. Y'all know I love talking about health and wellness. Valencia oranges. When I was in New Orleans, Louisiana, I found some. These are really like a rare orange. It's hard to find. You probably ain't going to find it. I ain't going to say probably ain't. You not going to find these like at Walmart. And they seeded. They really, really jam-packed with vitamin C. So I got me actually a couple of bags of them. Because before I left, remember I told you I was going to help out a client. And so I got me um, some bags and I juiced. I had to juice maybe about 10 of these bags. You know, the big uh, uh, orange juice sack. I just threw it away. But I I juiced on this here type of juicer. I bought one of these here for out there in New Orleans. And I was juicing these and some key limes and some grapefruit. Y'all saw before I left and some coconut water. On that previous video that I went live on, I was actually opening up the coconut waters and stuff to give to that client. And allowing her to um, be flushed with some vitamin C. You know, vitamin C is good, not only good for your skin externally. You know how people be putting those vitamin C serums and stuff on their face. But internally, it's really, really powerful. If you have like yeast overgrowth, if you um, need a good kidney flush, it's really good for the lymphatic system and adrenal glands. It's just good for your overall body. Oftentimes, we buy those simply oranges and those orange juices that really ain't ain't no orange juice that's watered down water and chemicals really um but when you really taste orange juice like this here you know that that stuff in the store is like garbage like you know because you know what real what real tastes like yeah and once you go real it's hard to go back to the weak watered down simply orange or a chocolate can or whatever you buy up in the grocery store. You'd be like, nah, who do you think they fool with? Not me. So, I like real stuff. And these are so juicy because this, I don't think this here, I'm going to have more than this. I need a bigger container. These oranges are so juicy and so delicious though, y'all. They really are. But anyway, I really didn't come to talk about health and wellness. Y'all know I always get into that subject. How y'all doing? What's the name of the juicer? Uh, I've been having this here for a long time. And I don't remember. I just bought another one in New Orleans. It's in my, I got it from Amazon. Go to Amazon and put in maybe um, manual juicer. And you'll see it. It was only like, it was only like 40 think around there forty dollars for this one here i love this and it's a die hard too i've been having this one for years that's why i bought another one for her out there and i, I left it i sent her the link but i didn't even pay attention to what the name of it i'm sorry about that but amazon is a place you'll find it 
You'll find it. Put in um juicer. Mango juicer. Juicer with handle. Something like that. You gonna find it. Amazon. <laughs> How much has juicer changed my health? How much? Uh, I used to wear glasses. That's how much. I used to wear glasses and, and help my vision, improve my vision, um, improve my skin. I used to have acne, bad acne, um, irritable syndrome. I used to have vertical. I used to be anemic. I used to be 162 pounds. I used to could not breathe. I used to could not sleep. I used to always catch the kind of cold. And, uh, it really changed my life drastically oh my hair i was standing in the middle but but the hair had to do with the chemicals too like the perms and the shampoos that i used to use too plus my diet but juicing has changed my life drastically it gave me a new life it gave me electrolytes it gave me energy you know um it clears up um all kind of yeast and bacteria and stuff inside of us you know we're we're really fruit Terrian people, the darker hued beings, you know, more on the herbivore, fruitarian side. Herbs is like the dry form of it. Fruits are like the juice side of it. And even with my appetite, I don't even, I went on a 90 day fast. I see that you asked me that from my Goddess Just Be Healthy page. If you saw on that page, I went on a 90 day fast. After that fast now, food is so overrated to me. Like I eat now, like maybe, like chew food likewise, maybe every two to three days. Is when I eat or digest something. Mostly what I'm doing is drinking. Because I done fell in love with it. You know, I done, and I know that food is overrated. Because I was getting all of my minerals. All of my life force on that phase. From just drinking. Drinking fruits. Fr drinking coconut water. And oranges. And grapefruit. And, 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 and cherry juice. And all I was digesting was uh, coconut oil for my amino acids and my healthy fats and that really helps with my appetite but um and any inflammation and stuff it helps me with that but um this is my food really that's probably why you always see me talk about fruits and stuff or juicy fruits because I'm just I'm gonna drink this today <laughs> this is my food right here what press is that? You know what? I got a computer right here. Let me let me see if I can get on my um my Amazon page from this here computer and look at my cart so I can tell y'all. Cause I just ordered. Let me see. How you get to orders? Let's see. Department. Mm. Oh, here we go. Your orders. It's called, it's R-O-V, somebody type this in a comment for me, R-O-V-S-U-N, Robinson Commercial Grade Citrus Juicer Hand Press Manual. That's a long darn, long darn um, description. But if you put that R-O-V-S-U-N, Hand Press Juicer, it should pop up. Yep, R O V S U N juicer. It should pop up, and it's forty seven dollars and forty nine cent, and it's a darn good juicer. The first time I purchased it was July 14, 2018. So that goes to show it's been lasting, and every so often because I use mine so much, you got the little hey, Miss Benzo. You got the little, um, Ali, uh, Ali, I ain't good with tools, y'all. I'm good with consciousness, but I don't know all my tools. Ali wrench, Ali wrench thingy. This thingy, because, you know, you want to tighten up the little, you know, you know, the thing that this thingy go in there. I don't know nothing about that, but I know you got to tighten it every now and then because you're putting friction. <laughs> you're putting friction on it and, you know, you're constantly moving it. That's it. You keep them little screw things tightened with your little alley wrench, and you're going to be fine. And you're going to be in business. I've been in business since 2018 with this year thing. And I use it a lot. 
You know how they, how the, the mother juices, they conk out on you, you got to throw it away, you done spend hundreds of dollars on it. This thing right here, but you're going to put in work. But you need to put in work if you juice it. You need to put in work in them, with them arms. Keep them arms moving so you don't have them little curtain drapes underneath here. You know, this is like a workout. <laughs> plus, plus you're getting all your minerals and stuff up in here. Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Okay. Good, good. You got it. Perfect. You gotta order that thing. That thing really, really good. It's worth it. Forty-seven dollars. It's worth it to me. Get my computer about to die, and I need that. I'm charging up. You know, I did a video that I went before I left, and I'm just uploading it. The people gonna be like, "Dang, I thought you was gone." My last video, I was talking about um, going away for a couple of weeks, and today I'm just getting back after that, you know, break. And so I'm uploading the video where I was saying, on my YouTube channel, where I was saying I, that I'm going. Oh, shit. Why oh, y'all didn't tell me I have the cup there? I waste some. Where I was saying that I was going away. And I'm just uploading. So tomorrow when I upload this hit video, the people on YouTube are going to be like, wait, hold up. I thought you said you were going away. But I, when I went away, I forgot to upload the video saying that I was gone for those that are just catching me coming back. And some people, they had some people ordering after I had them close the website. I have those orders. I got to go to the post office and, and ship that out. I don't know if they had stuff saved up in their in um, cart. And they clicked the button, but my main screen on my website was saying that I, my website was closed and that I was, you know, going to be gone. I was like, how do these orders get through? So y'all just be holding tabs on y'all computer. So I email y'all to let y'all know if any of you here to let y'all know um, your order going to be filled today. Tomorrow's 6. And today's the day, so I'm going to go drop those off today. But for everybody else, my website is back open again. It's back open. I just got FOMO. This might fit. This might be perfect. Because, um... Just drink this here in this cup. If it all fit in here, it might even be perfect that I waste one on the darn counter. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm coming to look at the comments after I do these last two. Because I took my eyes off of the thing and I didn't have the cup down here. Wait, let me pour a little bit. I need a little bit of room. I'm going to save this for later. Coming. These are Valencia oranges, the best. These are the best, hardest to find oranges. So I was so excited when I found it. Okay, my last one, y'all. My last one. Yeah, I did it. I made it. So yeah, this my this my dog, die hard juicer. My my baby. Since 2018, I didn't even realize I had it that long. 2018. All right, I'm coming. Let me clean up this mess up a little bit. Oh my God! When you have real orange juice. That's when you're doing something. Real orange juice. Not something in a bottle that you hoping is real. Real orange juice. Now that's breakfast right there. That's how you break a phase. This is my breakfast, y'all. This is my breakfast. This and some coconut oil will be my breakfast today. the wellness i already brushed my teeth in oil pulled already so after you oil pull and spit that out 
you know, to make sure your saliva is in an alkaline state, to make sure the bacteria and germs you squished out of your mouth and you, um, the toxins are drawn for, your tonsils are clear, the sinuses drain after you do your oil pull. Then you can take coconut oil and swallow it down. And then it's antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial inside of you. It's your um, healthy fats. It's your amino acids. I see it's just, oh my God, it's just be healthy page. And I have a transformation course available on my website called The Power Within Transformation Course. If you click on the link in my bio and go to my website, you'll see a picture of me on my website. Underneath the picture of me, you'll see the word Power Within Transformation Course. And I teach you all these different type things on the course. In the beginning of my journey, ten over ten years ago when I first started my journey, and the ins and outs of health and wellness are readily available for you when you're ready. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let me see my brother look in the comments and see what see what y'all been up to. See what y'all been up to. Cause I ain't come here to just run my mouth. I come to check on y'all too. Okay. Orange juice hurts my stomach. I'm about to answer that 66. <laughs> I'm about to answer that. That's I'm glad you said that. When orange juice hurts your stomach, it's simply hurting because there's inflammation and because that orange juice is working for you. Orange juice is acidic. It destroys yeast. It's, it's really, your stomach cramping like that, even like when you take bitter herbs or detox, people's stomach cramp. It's cramping because it's moving things around is killing bacteria it's, it current cramps is a, a detox symptom especially when you're drinking real orange juice if you drink something like this here from nature that's acidic it's gonna go in and it's gonna be trying to destroy yeast and parasites and bacteria and fungus and anything that's been sitting there in your stomach and if your stomach is cramping it's simply because we, we get to a point where we consume so many meats which puts our acid or hydrochloric acid that should be in our stomach it just wipes it out we we meat wipes out our hydrochloric acid so then when we digest something that's on the acidic range being that we don't have any hydrochloric acid and being that our meat that put our fire out is just sitting there kind of like molded it's sitting there like a um we call it acid reflex but that's just like mold and in, in, in food that's just sitting there in, in making maybe your belches smell, foul, whatever, because there's a lack of hydrochloric acid. So all of that is saying that th there's a lack of hydrochloric acid, that there's something in there that needs to be properly digested, and it is not. And so the orange juice is going to irritate that because it's inflammation. So I would say to you, I would say you definitely should start consuming coconut oil coconut oil and things like ginger that have put out the inflammation inside of your gut because it's letting you know that that is there so if you had like say for instance i had a burger that was sitting here this is the, this is the inside of my stomach and i had a burger that was sitting here now i don't have enough hydrochloric acid to break this burger down so it can go into my large and small intestine it's sitting there and it's sitting there for a long time my skin underneath that burger is going to be inflamed if they, especially if there's fungus and yeast and parasites, it's going to be red. It's going to be sore, you know, because it's been, the burger been sitting in that position for so long. Now I put something acidic on top of that in my skin, since it's already open and red right there, it's going to burn. It's going to hurt. So that's why I'm saying put some coconut, digest coconut oil to soothe the inflammation. Coconut oil also gets rid of parasites. So then the parasites are going to move from away from that bird. Because anytime they have old food, just like in a trash can, the, they have parasites in there, right? Anytime you eat meat, you know, meat attracts parasites. You could be a, ve a vegan. You get parasites and stuff off of your lettuce and stuff if you don't clean it, right, right? So anytime they have that inflammation, they got parasites around there. Well, I'm saying coconut oil because coconut oil is antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial.
oil is anti-inflammatory. So coconut oil is going to take care of all that. So start digesting coconut oil. Start drinking spring water with sodium bicarbonate because sodium bicarbonate is uh, anti-fungal. So get rid of all that fungus and then you'll find that you're soothing the integrity of the lining of your stomach. Then you'll find if you have your healthy salts, you're increasing your hydrochloric acid. So you want to heal that thing. Start with healing the gut. Eat food that heal the gut. Then you'll be able to tolerate this. Then once you begin to tolerate this here again, it's going to help flush out the kidneys. It's going to help flush out the liver. It's going to help clean your skin. You, you, you know, but you gotta start. You gotta start somewhere. You can, you know, we got a lot of people that you know say, "Hey, I'm allergic to this." But when you find people that start saying, "I'm allergic to this," you circle back with them same people. They list get longer and longer and longer. So what's happening? They're getting clogged up more and more and more. And it'll start off with something as simple as, "Oh, I can't tolerate orange juice." That's your body telling you. If, 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 if your stomach hurting when you're drinking the orange juice, that's your body saying, "Hey, hey, hey, we're giving you a signal." It, it hurts when you drink that orange juice, huh? Yeah, we letting you know there's inflammation here. Could you give us some for this inflammation? Could you, hey, hey, we letting you know that there's no hydrochloric acid up in here. Could you give us some healthy salts, some gray Celtic salt or some pink Himalaya sea salt to increase the hydrochloric acid? Because when you have your acid inside of here, that burger that once was in here, then we'll be able to make it move. We'll, that fire, that the hydrochloric acid that creates in your gut is going to chop down that burger and allow it to be expelled out of you. And, it, and so you get your healthy salts and your coconut oils. And now the coconut oil is lubricating. Now the coconut oil is getting the past that lipid coated of that virus and, and, and killing the parasites for you. So you got to know, like you got to think kind of like consciously, what my body telling me? Because your body always talking. The cells of your body are alive. And they're doing everything to keep you alive because that's the job that you gave them. So you got to be in sync with it and, and just not say, okay, I can't do that. Find out why you can't do that. Find out why. Because you're connected to nature. You're connected to the orange. Why why, why you, why we can't drink the orange no more? You know, as within, so without. This orange is you. This is a part of you. You have vitamin C in you, it has vitamin C. You are life force, it is a life force. You stem from dust thou art, and dust thou shall return. Well, it came from the dust. So why you can't tolerate you? you Gotta really think about that there. But I just wanted to share that with you. Do you add Celtic um salt to water? Yes. Yes. That's um available on my Goddess Just Be Healthy page. Um I show you how much and I'll show you what else to add to it. Good questions. Yeah. I thought coconut oil was good for me. But according to my blood type, I can't have coconut oil. Blood type, orange juice hurts my stomach. According to your blood type, what blood type is that? You can't have um, amino acids. Tell me what blood type you are. <laughs> Tell me what blood type you are. I'd love to know that. I'd love to know that. Okay, I caught up on all of that. Okay, let me go over here. I haven't been taking... Um, oh my goodness, this phone about to um, die. I haven't been taking black seed oil for anti... I have been taking black seed oil for anti-inflammation. You can suggest anything else. Um, coconut oil, I would suggest. I would suggest ginger for inflammation. Wait, let me let me get my charge. I'll be right back. Coconut oil and ginger. One second, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Black seed oil is good too, though. Black seed oil is good for inflammation too, yeah. But the thing about black seed oil though is it depends upon where you're getting it from. You could easily make black seed oil yourself though. You get your, your black seeds and you soak them in your um I'm gonna unplug what you soak them in um in a healthy oil like a, a grapeseed oil, like a olive oil, like a avocado oil. You soak them in something like that. Oh, I know what I could do. I could put it up in here. And so it could stay charged. And the computer could stay charged too. Let's see. One second. Yeah, so you can make that yourself. Okay, I got juice now. Like this here, for example. This here is just something that I keep, or oil that I keep on my counter. This, you could do the same thing with, with, with your... Um, black seed oil and it'd be good for inflammation or you could use this here this is anti-inflammatory too these are a clove clove buds you see that right there 
you see and so the oil of choice that i use in here is um avocado oil and so now in my kitchen if i or anybody uh, you know needs some um, uh, antibiotic it's there and the longer it soaks the more potent it get see the reason why i say you should make your own is because <laughs> I was in the food industry with vegan food and stuff, and I know the shortcuts, like for vegan, you know, to make more money, the shortcut with food, huh, you do is you go to Restaurant Depot, and you get them big old bottles of oil, the peanut oil, canola oil, all them oils burn rancid, but they cheap, they cheap, so all the restaurant owners in, the, in local restaurants, they go there and get that cheap stuff, you could, you could have a top five star restaurant or whatever, and they Serving your stuff with cheap oil to save money. So profit for profit. They in it for business. Like, right? But the plate be pretty. So it's kind of no different with these people that create things. They'll use cheap oils and then try to put expensive essentials with it, you know, to stretch it or essential herbs. And so you just don't want to be purchasing a black seed oil that been soaked in like canola. You know, you don't want to purchase... No black seed oil that's been soaked in Crisco. <laughs> Crisco. <laughs> the old Lord that they used to use back in the day. You don't want it soaked in no sunflower oil and stuff like that. You want to know. Just like I was talking about the orange juice. You don't want to be buying that bottle of orange juice from Tropicana. You thinking it's real and it ain't. And then you take something like this like, dang. I ain't even never had orange juice before. You know, because you're not really getting the full benefit of the black seed. But black seed oil for inflammation, um, ginger, coconut oil, all of those are anti-inflammatory and they're so cool, soothing. I like coconut oil. I promote coconut oil. Matter of fact, I need to do like a little partnership with coconut oil. I talk about coconut oil so much and I don't get nothing from it. But I get to be able to be in a position to help y'all because coconut oil helped me so much when I first started my journey. It helped me manage my weight. It helped me, you know, with the inflammation that I had because I was on fire. When you when you, when you, you eat meat and you have a chaotic diet for so many years, you on fire. You don't realize you're on fire until you consume that coconut oil and it puts your fire out. I fooled, I fooled around with turmeric. A lot of people like turmeric. I'm, I fooled around with it for a little while, but coconut oil just tilted it all. It tilted it over like... I didn't go back to turmeric after I had one spoon of coconut oil because it did so much more than turmeric. So, teachers on cloves and avocado oil. Yeah, do that. Mix that together. Now you got your own natural antibiotics sitting in your kitchen for when the children's sick or whatever. You give them two spoons of that. And you, you, you your own healer. <laughs> Learn how to make them concoctions yourself. That's what I teach you in my transformation course. That's what I teach when I come here. I give you the tools to do what you need to do because you God in your kingdom. You're God. <laughs> yes, you are. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh you're oh. <laughs> you the God. Well, how is that God? I didn't mean you was going to say oh over there. I knew you the Anunnaki type blood type. So you telling me the Anunnaki type blood type. <laughs> Can't fool with the oh. And the knocking blood type should be able to actually do what it will because you're the most powerful of them all. Your blood type shouldn't be being able to be tainted by those type of things. I I I I, I want to say this here. I studied the um, this is this is book um to eat for your blood type, but understand this here, especially when you're dealing with the old type blood, it has a high tolerance for all things. To be honest with you, but here's the thing, that's physical. Knowing your blood type or eating for your blood type is physical. When you get to this spiritual walk, you begin to realize it is mine. All is mine. So really and truly, you can eat whatever you will. If you step into the totality of the old blood type and the totality of consciousness, because all is God. So if all be God, that means we could see, I don't, I don't particularly drink milk and I program my conscious mind, my subconscious mind. To get to not drinking milk because I identify milk as no frequency in the physical, not this physical. I identify it as being cow pus. And I've told myself that it's cow pus. I don't need it. I don't want it. 
I could be good without it, right? But if, if I'm talking spiritual, it don't matter because that's God too. Everything is God. So all is mine. So what I could do if I wanted to, I don't want to now, is program my mind that that milk is God too. And it, I could enjoy it and I can bless it. This is what the biblical text is saying that when they say nothing shall by no means harm you, that you could trade on surface and nothing shall harm you. So you could be O, you could be A, you could be B. If your mind is saying, that's why they have people that are healthy and they eat what they want because they have a relationship with the food and they understand this. But then they have, then they have the vegans that say, oh no, you can't do that. But then they have these, they, I know my instructor, my fitness instructor is a carnivore, a black lady. She eats only meat. I'm talking about McDonald meat, barbecue meat, only meat. She go to McDonald's and get the meat patty. <laughs> she get the meat patty, no bread, no lettuce, no tomato. She eat only meat. And in her mind, I love working out with her in her mind. She said, I need my protein. It's working for me. The mind is powerful. And I feel so happy that I met her because I'm in her class as the vegan that don't fool with the meat. And so I'm like, oh my God, we yin and yang. <laughs> oh my God, I love this journey, being on this journey with you. Because you showing me the other side of me. Because guess what? I'm God. Over here representing God as a vegan, and you God over here representing God as being a carnivore. Carnivore, and she eats nothing but meat. Here I am. I'm drinking nothing but juices. I just love it. So, so all of that. I'm O. I'm B. I'm this. I'm that. You should be able to eat really whatever you, it is that you want. It really is. But in the physical reality, going back to you saying this here about coconut oil. So answer this here for me, since since, you, since we're going back to physical. So you're saying this about coconut oil. You're saying you can't because you were oh. So so what is it that you gonna get your pro, your so-called protein, aka your amino acid from? So if I'm outside of meat now, outside of meat, the healthier ones. So or you can you consume? Okay, you could get some um, amino acids from maybe. Plant-based hemp tea, plant-based avocados. You could get it from coconut oil. Do you eat these kind of things? Black seeds, things like that. Do you consume those type of things? Because you be able, you could, you could get it in other ways. You could get it in other ways. So you gotta make some kind of shortcuts to get it outside of the meat kind. Because you still need it in your system. Because you, you embody this. You are made of this. So, an uh, animal should not be the only way that you could get your so-called protein or your AKA amino acid. You got to get some from your green leafy vegetables some kind of way. So, answer that um, for me if you could. Barbie, yeah, you say barbecue meat, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, the barbecue ribs, ribs. She eat that. She she eat that. That's, that's, that's her diet. Oh, you get yours from your veggies? Okay. 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 But try the hemp seeds then. Try hemp oil maybe then. You can get your omega 369 from your hemp oil. It's anti-inflammatory too. You can get your omegas and stuff over there. But I'm telling you, the coconut oil, the coconut oil is, is because like, okay, so like the universe is so freaking cool to me. Like the, the, the fruits that are higher up in the air are really high energetic fruits, yielding so much energy. So it just blows my mind to hear somebody with the old blood type saying, I can't tolerate the, the coconut because that's, that's the one. That's the one. That's the most powerful one, especially for old. That's the most powerful one. <laughs> the coconut, the mango. The powerful ones. And when people say stuff like that, that's like, that's almost like an indicator. Uh, uh, something in there. Something in there. When it's being destroyed, it's making that person's stomach hurt. Because that coconut, 
coconut is the only oil that will get past that lipid coated on that virus and open it up and expose it enough and kill that thing on contact. So when people tell me, oh no, my stomach hurt when I, well baby, you go, well, you go, guess what? It's going to happen after your stomach hurt and the next day it's going to hurt probably again, but then probably no later than that third day, you're going to release a large amount of old fecal matter. You're going to see worms maybe. You're going to see flukes maybe up in your, in your bad, in your bad toilet. When you turn around and look, do a look back because it started to hurt because it made them parasites. It made, it made them that yeast and fungus. It made it change. <laughs> it made it an, in, be in an environment that is more now alkaline and they could not thrive in that environment. So they started fighting. They started trying to multiply. They started biting at you. They started aching at you because what they really was trying to do is make it their house. But you, by you just digesting the coconut oil, you made their house inhabitable now for them to live in. So now they're going to hurt your stomach a little while. Now your little booty hole might start tingling because now they, they're moving around now because you, it's almost like when you turn on like, I'm not talking about you. I don't mean this negative to you. I'm just giving ideas, so a visual. It's almost like you turn on the light up in a house that, that's infested with some cockroaches. Them, them roaches just probably going to scatter around, you know, because the light came on, right? <laughs> because that's what happens when you digest coconut oils and coconut water. Them things going to scatter around. They're going to try to exit. They, that's why you hear people talk about they got itching sensation and things, worms and stuff coming out the ear. They'll try to come out your tear ducts right there. If you have them, you know, for them people that be getting them so-called styes and them so-called um, pink eyes. It, they'll, they'll try to, little flukes and stuff. If you're trying to come out the tear duct, they'll come out of your nose, your nostril. You call this tear stuff mucus. <laughs> But, okay, think about this here. Parasites, when they're reproducing, they're reproducing and secreting all this larva. So you call, you call this stuff mucus and congestion. But, yeah, that's their secretions, though. You, you ever see them people in their physical reality that have them big old hard bellies? You know, the beer belly, they'll call it, and they'll smack that thing. You know, the men, they'll smack that thing like, yeah, yeah. No, baby. <laughs> Parasites up in there, that ain't magnesium up in there. That's parasites. That's yeast overgrowth. It's hard. It's solid. So you put coconut oil in that digestive tract of a person like that. Oh, yeah, that stomach going to hurt. Oh, yeah, they're going to say, oh, I don't, I don't want that. That had me in the bathroom. Oh, no, you're thinking the opposite. You need that. You need to go in the bathroom some more. Because what's going to happen now since you put that coconut oil to them is that they're going to scatter it around. Now they're saying, let's multiply. Let me, let me, just like the gnats in the kitchen, let's multiply. Let's, let's tap, let's touch this area right here. Let's touch this area. Let's lay an egg here. Let's lay an egg, leg drop, uh, droppings right here so that since I'm dying off, then my offspring can come on the next cycle. Because that's what they do. They, they cycle. So once you start with the, like things like coconut oils, you want to keep going. You want to keep on flushing. That's that, the, the, baby. My stomach hurt. I have a product called Sustained Detox. It's bitter herbs. Boy, when I first took that for the first time, I wasn't making this here for y'all. I was trying to save my life. When I first took that thing for the first time, my stomach was in a knot. But I felt in my inner core I, as if things was just being pulled toward my, my intestines, like, like pulled from my shoulder. It was like, like a pulling sensation. Like it was like gathering up old fecal matter. And my stomach was in a knot for the first two days. That's why I see by that third day. A boy, when I went to the restroom on that third day, it was like I had gave birth to a little baby. You know, I mean, I know this stuff might be too TMI, but you ever had one of the bowel movements that you just felt like you lost 20 pounds? And boy, you just want to take a little nap? That's the kind of, that's what happens when you really start to clean your body out at a cellular level. Because you got to understand we have cellular waste. Our cells even create waste. Not to, not to mention the waste that we put inside of us from the meats, you know, and the heavy foods and the things that our body don't even use for nourishment. The mucus that we create by putting in, you know, like, for example, maybe, um, maybe the bread, like. You know, it's only so so much of mineral in the bread, and then the rest is mucus. And what 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 what, what, what are we gonna do with the mucus? We gotta get that mucus up out of there. 
What we got to do is get, take things to allow that mucus to digest. If not, we get spoiled. I saw yesterday a picture of a lady. They, they, oh my God! They, you know how them people that sit on on the TikTok? They just sit there and they eat the um, little seafood plates, and they have the long little fingernails, and they just eating and slurping. I don't know if it's ASMR type stuff, but Lord, I saw before picture of the lady, and she looks she looks like a little regular little maybe one hundred thirty pound black lady, and in the picture underneath, she was like three hundred and forty darn pounds. Still eating the little seafood and slurping with the ASMR. That mucus got to go somewhere. And if we're not taking things like that, we just get swollen and we become full of SHIT. I'm just being honest with you. You digest that thing however you want to. <laughs> but one thing might not work for everybody. Yeah, that's true. That's why I gave some alternatives. Like the um, hemp seed oil, like the, um, the flax seed oil, you know. Like, um, the ginger. Yeah. 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 The ASMR. That's, um, like when they make sounds. When they be like, you know, like the little crunchy sounds. Kind of like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right about that. My son has a lot of slim. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, that's how we start off. We get a lot of it be from the mucus, you know, like from the canned foods, like, when we um, first start off our journey with the inflammables and things, that's just mucus. That's why them children get so inflamed with, you know, snotty noses. And then we take them to the nursery and we blame all of the nursery children. But no, we, we give them mucus all day. They're not getting breast milk if they're, you know, on inflammable. And the breast milk doesn't create that phlegm, you know, because it's minerals inside of that. When you're dealing with, you know, babies, they, nine times out of ten, they're picking up the same type because the mothers are just recreating themselves in another form, the creators. So if the mother's kidneys is clogged up, they're creating a child who's going to have that same stagnated energy recreating themselves. So now it's up to that generation to right the wrongs in order to filter its kidney, you know, because we are healers to our own self. And so if the mother, while the baby is still young, giving it canned milk, this synthetic DHA, when the breast milk is the healthier way to create this here DHA to help to bring, build this baby's brain integrity and bond with the, you know, mother and child, that go out the window. So the baby becomes, you know, a little mucus baby. The foundation of the baby health is this mucus. You know, and we grow up on that and we, we turn out okay, but it comes in our life that we consume so much. It's like a computer, you know, we're infinite intelligence, but just like our computer, we consume so much. One day we, we end up with a little virus, you know, they, they, they mess up the whole darn computer system because it, it's all about a healthy battery. We can't just stay on the mucus side of things forever and not explore because God just want to explore itself in different ways. So not explore the other side of God. Okay, yeah, we got mucus out there too. Yeah, but we got fruit out there. We got herb out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We got seeds out there. We got, you know, nuts out there. We got healthy salts out there. We got, we got distilled water out there, but we also got spring water too, you know. God wants to experience it all. So it's really just kind of like, um, you deciding what, what, what you want to choose each day. Which brand of coconut oil do you use? Um, I buy my coconut oil in, um, in bulk. In bulk online because I use a lot. I make products, you know, my, some of my lotions and stuff have coconut oil. So this is the one I get. This is the one I get. So this here that's in here is just me having a little smaller thing so I don't have to tote this big old tub around. And this is from a company called Earthship. Right there. That's how they, what they look, look like. Earthship. That's what I get. Or you can get some from Amazon. Amazon be having nice ones. You got to make sure, you know, it's not, I guess it's not really about just a company. It's the fact that it has to be extra virgin, cold pressed, organic, and unrefined. You make sure you have those four things and you can't go wrong with your coconut oil. Yeah. Oh, you talking to somebody else. Oh, <laughs> somebody was talking to me. Hey, goddess. Hey, love. McDonald has human meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Horse meat, human meat, all kind of. Ignore it. Oh, okay. Okay. Isn't okay. I'll be back into Asian market.
I'm, I don't know. I don't know what y'all y'all talking to each other must be on here. What about building red blood cells? I say any suggestion for gas? Get red blood cells is um pretty much um first filtering out that you need the bitters for that for the red blood cells. You need the bitter herbs like sustained detox that's available on my website. That's what clears out the um the blood. You gotta do the bitters. The bitters are nasty. I'm gonna tell you now. The bitters are very, very, very nasty. But the bitters clean out the blood. The bitters clean out your liver and your um your kidneys very, very well. Bitters. When I say bitters, I mean like um sarsaparilla root. I mean like dandelion. Oh, it's nasty. I mean like um burdock, yellow dock. The bitters like that there. Um saccharide. Those bitters are in sustained detox. And so, you will probably want to drink that with a, maybe a acetic orange juice to get rid of the taste. Or you might want to purchase you some vegan gel, veggie gel capsules and put the bitter powder of the herb inside the gel capsule and swallow it that way because they're nasty. I'm going to just tell you, sustained detox is nasty, but it's bitter and it works. It'll clean out all fecal matter. It'll clean out that um the lymphatic system, the blood, the liver, kidneys, all that at a cellular level. That's a cellular level cleanse. I'm actually low on that. I'm just getting my website back open. So I probably only have like one or two of them left because the people that, that ordered while I was on my break took mostly all of my stuff and I didn't restock yet. But gas, the gas. Gas is when you incorporating your foods. You're mixing your foods up. Because like I said, really... We're more on the food that nature produces more than all of this stuff man is putting together and calling it, you know, food, manipulating the energy because it's not really balanced with the minerals that we need for food. So that's, for example, like when we eat like, um, like a burger, for example, you know, you got your starches on there and then you throw on tomato, you throw on lettuce. You throw on a pickle, like right. Your body is gonna be trying to digest the the health, the you know the minerals, the the lighter things first, like right. And so, it's gonna go after the pickle, the lettuce, and the tomato because it's recognizing that first. Oh, look at that! That's funny. So it's recognizing that first. Thank you for it, the gift. And um, and after it goes to that, now it has bread left and meat left. And it's digesting that, but it's not getting no minerals out. So it starts to kind of like stink in there, so to speak. You know, because now now that's that bread is in, because, you know, the body's like, what, you know, what, 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 is, what is this, you know? And it's taking a long time to process. So it's almost like fermentation is happening inside. And so the gas is coming because we're not balancing our foods. Like we're really supposed to be like for breakfast, we're supposed to keep our berries if you really want to get into it. We're supposed to keep our berries together. You need our berries by itself. Even when we juice it. You know, sometimes people juice green stuff. You know, the green leafy vegetables. And they'll throw a banana up in there. They'll throw um, berries up in there. Thinking, oh, I'm going to get it all in. But that could create gas too. Because berries should be with berries. Like when you eat melons, melons should be with melons. Just the melon. Like when I eat watermelon, that's dinner. That's all I eat that day. And so if you eat like that, then you won't have the gas. Or if you don't want to be to that place, maybe just separate the food on the plate and take a break, you know, and eat it five or so minutes late. You know, eat your little fruit, take a break, let that digest, then go back in and eat, you know, whatever it is that you have on your plate. But that's that's the combination, just pretty much putting foods together that don't go together and they form in inside your gut. And then you got gas, and then it stank because you the old stuff that they couldn't digest sitting up in there. <laughs> you welcome. I'm saying that, but I ignored it. Okay, I don't know what y'all talking about. What about lemons? I read the limes over lemons. Limes are more powerful than um lemons in making sure that they're seeded because seeded has a life force inside of it. And lemons lemons are cool to drink if that's what you choose to do but i don't i don't find the the pop punch and now i'm saying this you know how we were talking over here about eating for your blood type i'm saying this as a melanated being i'm saying this as a melanated being 
And I'm saying that because if I have anybody out here that might not look like me, you might not be processing this, but you got to keep in mind, I'm part of this matrix. I didn't, well, I helped to create it just like you did, but there's two sides of everything. So if they're going to be a melanated being who's more like an herbivore, just understand it. Even if you don't agree, if there's a melanated being who's more like an herbivore and more like a fruitarian, they have a lighter hued being that may be looking at me right now saying, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about because they cannot imagine a life without milk. They cannot imagine a life without bloody steak and, and, you know, potatoes. But the digestive system of these two beings are different, okay? So there's recessive and dominant beings in this physical reality. There's going to be vegans and meat eaters in this physical reality. And the only thing that's really separating the two is the fact that there's different mindsets. Everyone has an innate ability to tap into source energy. So for the disagreeables on here that, you know, are on the other side, I understand and I respect where you are in your journey. And that will be true for you if you believe it. But if you don't believe it and you are still experiencing just ease and disharmony, baby, you need to come over to the other side because it, it really don't matter. All is God. <laughs> All is God experiencing itself. I don't want to confuse anybody on that. So when I'm speaking, I'm speaking of foods that I know energetically that can that are powerful enough to quicken and give a life force to a melanated being. And melanated being, I don't care what your gut, your own blood type is. Because we all, as melanated being, connect closest to the God, I mean the um, Anunnaki blood type of O. And for the Anunnaki blood type of O, these things that I'm talking about, I never mention GMOs. I never will mention a GMO on my page that will not be good enough for the melanated being. Never. So you ain't gonna hear me talk about milk. You ain't gonna hear me talk about no probiotics and no 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 what they call that stuff? Um yogurt. Yogurt. No, no, no. You're not gonna hear me talk about getting things from that low recessive place of being. You're not. Because nature provided everything that you needed with a seed melanated being, with a life force melanated being. So that's what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. I'm not trying, I, I, I love all, and there's no hate, this is not a hate message, this is not, oh, you're not better than us type message, this is just a message that we're going to just use some logic up in here, we're going to step out of the emotional side of things, and we're going to use logic, we are two different people, but God experiences itself by this polarity of us being two, God is both yin and yang, good and evil, darkness versus light, however you want to look at it, the black and the white. And we all have an innate ability to tap into God. There's only one God, one faith, one baptism. But it, it's a law of polarity that in this realm, that there's two sides. So if you, you want to be on that side, go for it. Go for it. I wish you the best. But I teach from a side of being a melanated being. This is how I correlate and accept accept things that's going on, the frequency that's going on in this environment, because I, in this lifetime, in this avatar suit, I came forward as a black melanated being, a black lady. And these are the things that electrify my electric body based upon the signal that I give. Your signal might be a little bit weaker. Your signal might be, <laughs> you might not even know that you have a signal. You might think this is some Looney Tune stuff. But everything is just like codes. Everything. Including our food is. So I ain't trying to be no doc. You know, people be like, oh, she's like a little Dr. Stevie. No, I'm not trying to be a nothing. I'm just, I'm just going, I'm, I'm talking about the things that I put. I'm not, like, even when I first started my journey, I didn't even know nothing about no Dr. Stevie. But I would be able to put something to my mouth and I would be able to sit with my body and I'm connected with the cells of my body enough to know, wait, that don't serve me well. Or I'm connected to my body enough to know, wait, I need to drink more of this. There's something inside of it this that I need what, what is this tell me more and so that's how that's all I'm trying to get other melanated beings to get to the place of that and so I'm going to share those foods with you nothing else and when you take them you're going to notice a quickening in your body because you programmed like me and outside of that old a b stuff you programmed like me because you're on that side of these laws of polarity the side that I'm teaching from <laughs> yeah so no, no, no seedless stuff. Seedless stuff has a higher content of sugar in it. 
Like, you you know, you got the people out there, they want their seedless grapes. Them grapes be so sweet, you could taste it. You want the seedless watermelon. That's, that watermelon's so sweet, you could taste it. But you need the minerals. See, when, they, when, they, when man starts to manipulate things and make it sweeter to the taste, they, they have the seedless stuff that's sweet to the taste, but it's low frequency. It is not electrifying you like it should. It's been altered. So that's why I don't, I don't do no seedless lemon. Like, I, I could drink lemon. I ain't afraid of it. I could drink it. I, 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 I've drunk a lemon before, but it ain't do nothing. But when I, when I drunk that key lime juice, like, Lord, wait a minute. Oh, I feel pressure being released from my kidneys. Wait, is this is this releasing that uric acid and that lactic acid build up inside of me, inside of my body? Lemons don't do that for me. Oh, that's why I don't talk about them things. No, I don't. No, if I get lemons, you be like, oh, okay, they're cute, and they probably end up sitting there going bad because I, I'm still gonna want my lime because I know what my lime do for my body. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. You're welcome. It's because it's been doing my body great. I'm really eating right. I'm really eating right for your blood type. And they say that for O. But I said, I'm going to ignore. <laughs> yeah, because it's according to your belief. It's, it's, it's according to your belief. Like people, like we have these guides and that be those people experiences. But it's based upon your thinking. Because the belief is just something that you didn't show yourself. Over and over again until it became a law in your mind, in your subconscious mind. Because right, if I if I say, oh, there is one thing. Y'all know, I said this before. There is one thing that I know darn well ain't for no melon AB. It is, I just came from New Orleans, Louisiana. It is these chiwis. I wish I had the bag. I, I didn't eat them all. Anyway, these, these New Orleans, Elmer's, chiwis. Them things ain't healthy. I never read the ingredients because I programmed in my mind that they are healthy and the ones that they sell to me are the healthiest brain and the little um, green dots on them it'd be chlorophyll <laughs> yeah it'd be a little flakes of chlorophyll and i eat them things and in my mind i'm telling myself that that is my life force that is my treat you see it's a mind thing that's the one thing that i only can get in new orleans they don't have it out here in arizona and they ain't i know that ain't eating for no blood type I know darn well it ain't. I know it's not. <laughs> but guess what? I program my mind to know something else. When I eat them, it is. Every time I go to New Orleans, I get them. They have them on Amazon. And sometimes I think about them and I order them from Amazon. And I'll be like, oh, that's my only little healthy snack. And the Elmer's company, they know that I'm ordering right now. And when I eat it, I'll be like, oh, this is electrifying my body. People write books based upon their experiences. But you could always alter that thinking or that book or that experience that they had and create your own. That's why we have different minds. We have different minds to experience life different ways. Just like my instructor, she eat only meat. And that lady is thriving. She looks good. She is physically fit. She has energy. She has no acne. She don't eat nothing else but meat. And if you ever watch Kyle Spears seeing things like that, we, we program our mind to understand that, you know, you shouldn't be eating the blood of the, you know, the animals. You know, the animals might be sick, this, that, that. That lady done set her mind to another frequency and you can't tell her nothing because she has no health issues. How's that? You see, so, it's according, just like in the biblical text, according to your faith, your faith will make you old. Yeah, yeah. Let me look that up here because I was running my mouth. Greetings, coach. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, mate. Ma Matic? Matic? Am I saying it right? Matic 178. Do you drink aloe vera juice? No, I don't. Okay. I don't drink aloe vera. No. Uh, I'll drink, um, I'll drink uh, okra juice before I drink aloe vera. Me and my daughters are going to do it together as a team. Oh, well, that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. I was just thinking about you. Oh, God, it's Kay. I'm back. <laughs> Good morning from Louisiana. Hey, Daryl, you in Louisiana? I just left out there. How long can you fast for? However long you can go. I did it for 90 days, though. Hey, Earth Day. I'm not at work this week. Oh, you want to leave, Miss Being So? Oh, okay, cool. It's good to recharge curtain drapes. 
Yeah, Grand Wise, I love you, miss you. Oh, thank you, Orange. Thank you, Kay. Yeah. Alan Wrench, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going all the way up to the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank y'all, thank y'all. You have an accent. Hey, DJ. Hey, Emmanuel. Oh, hey, my favorite TikToker. Rolling. Hey, 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 I'm back rolling. Yeah, good day, good day. Okay, okay, I went to the top. I just wanted to see the people that were saying hey when I first got here and I was running my mouth. But anyway, now let me get my, so. I'm trying to detox for 21 days. I hope I make it. You will make it. Change that thought process. I will make it. Detoxing is easy. It's mind over matter. Oh, I'm only do, conquering myself here. Say things like that. Mostly fruits and vegetables. Yeah. If you get hungry, I think the coconut oil based upon my program serves me very well for when I was hungry. It gave me energy. It really did. Why no aloe vera juice? Um, because it's a GMO. It doesn't have the life force like um, okra does. Um, send being you love. Oh, thank you. Oh, you send love to somebody else more by faith and not by sight. Yeah, yeah. If, if you believe that, because when I come from religion, the people be saying walk by faith, not by sight, and they be walking. Some of them, you know, they mind don't be programmed just yet, and they be walking by sight, and then they allow winds and current to, you know, make them wobble. So if you gonna believe in your um your okra. I mean, your um, aloe vera, walk by faith, not by sight. Set your tone. Reject what I just said. Don't let it interfere. And that's how you keep your aloe vera working for you. But if your aloe vera make your, making you feel this ease, this harmony, and you, you know, getting information from other people and then it make you doubt or whatever, that, that's where the wobble come in. And that's when your aloe vera ain't. He ain't gonna work for you no more. It's just like Peter, you know, walking on water, paying attention to the waves and the current. He he sunk. You know, you gotta stay focused on whatever program you have and let nothing, no outside sources deter you from it. Just like the lady with the meat. She don't care that I'm vegan. She gonna eat her meat and she's staying healthy. And I don't care that she eat all of that her meat. I ain't going over there. I, my law it has been set. And nothing outside of it can mess with it. At least I changed it. That's how you got to be with your mindset. Yeah. Let's see. What are the four things to look for in coconut oil again? I didn't know I couldn't digest it. Yeah. The four things. Unrefined. Cold pressed. Extra virgin. Organic. Coconut oil. That have four things. And a tricky one that you really want to pay attention to because most of them are going to be organic. Most of them are going to be extroverted. Most of them are going to be um, cold pressed. But you really want to pay attention to whether it is refined or unrefined. That's the thing. Because you want unrefined. That it hasn't been messed with, manipulated with in any way. Unrefined coconut oil is what you want. Glad to see you back. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> NC. Let's see. Thank you for the follow, Queen B. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. Did I miss anything else? That's beautiful. We create from nothing. Yes, we do. Being intentional. Yes. Where do you go to see fruit? Walmart and Sprout can't find seeds. Oh, international market. Where do I go to find them, Orange? Yeah, go to the international market. That's where I go. This one here, these seeded um, Valencia oranges that I um, just got finished juicing, they came from New Orleans. It was like a, um, a man on the side of the road from selling from his farm. And I stopped over there. You, you got to support them little small farmers, you know, the, um, the farmer's market, international markets like that. Okay. Thank you, love. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My phone died, y'all. I had to plug it into the wall instead of being on the computer. I'm about to wrap this up. Thank you, love. International market, you are so appreciated by me. You are so welcome, Orange. Back home now. What's happening? <laughs> Thank you for being here, Miss Being So. Okay, no worries. Yeah, my phone died. 
Hey, hey, B-Doc, where you been hiding at? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a minute. I miss y'all. Do you, you eat pineapples? No, I don't. I don't like pineapples. Mm-mm. No, I don't, I don't like how they feel. Just based upon my experience, digesting it. I don't like how it feels to my tongue, what it does to my tongue after I drink so much pineapple juice or juice them. It just makes my tongue feel numb, like almost sometimes like swole up, like, right? So I don't register with that one at all. So I don't talk about it. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't talk about it. I don't like them. Nope. But the, the real um, powerful for me based upon energy fruits that I love is the coconut water, the mangoes, cherries. I'm talking about real seeded cherries. Cherries are amazing. I love oranges. I love apples. Um, I love pears, um, peach, plum, things like that. What else am I missing? Oh, and I love me some sweet tamarind. I eat those a lot. I love sweet tamarind. Fruits like oh, and seeded grapes. Oh my God, seeded grapes, seeded grapes. If you go, if you go on a grape seeded grape fast, you you could heal your kidneys. Like people that be having kidney issues, if they could go to the international market and just wild out on seeded grapes, seeded grapes will heal your kidneys. Will filter them. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yes, pineapple numbness. You get that too, Renee? Yeah. So far, I've only found sour tamarind. Oh, you can't find a sweet one? Man, at my Asian market, I have been able to find a sweet one. The sour one is kind of bitter, bitter, bitter sour. My children like them sour ones, but I like the sweet. I think I got some up in here for those of you that don't know about. And even if you can't find, I'm glad I opened this. Yeah, see these are the sweet tamarind I'm talking about. This is good fiber. But I found I'll be finding mine in my Asian market. And for those of you who don't um who don't know where to find or don't want to digest the uh, cherries, you could also get cherry juice. Real cherry juice. And drink it. This helps with melatonin production, relax you as a pain reliever. It's one of those super fruits too that I really, really like. And when you buying it, make sure it's not no um, kind of concentrated kind. And you want to turn your stuff around. And I'm going to show you that the ingredients just say right up there. It just say one thing. One thing. That's all you're looking for. One thing. And that's cherry juice. You don't need no sugar. You don't need no high fructose. You don't need none of that other stuff. Oh, thank you, B-Dot. Uh, you like my hair? I got my hair braided when I was in New Orleans. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Do you eat the seeds of grapes? I eat the grape and the seed. I swallow it. Yep. The only time I don't is if I'm, because I'm about to try um, my garden since it's finally the new year. I'm going to try a, um, a garden in my backyard. So the only time I don't swallow the seeds of my grapes is when I'm doing that. And that's just a couple. I got some things. <laughs> I got some things up in here in my refrigerator. Some seeded grapes, some mango, some green onion that I want to plant. And look, I even put some of the um these are the seeds that come out of the sweet tamarind they up in there. And here go here go my little grape. My little grapes. I'm gonna try to grow all of this here. So, and my little oranges right here, my orange seed. Matter of fact, while I'm sitting here, I need to put some of these Valencia oranges up in here. So, I, I normally eat, I don't eat, I didn't eat all of these because I just juiced this here. But, um, I normally take my, um, eat my seeds or if I don't, I put it on the side because I know I'm about to have a big garden. I'm going to have the garden of Eden in my backyard. <laughs> Yes, I am. Watch me. Because it's time to grow, y'all. If y'all don't get the signal yet, it's time to grow. Oh, I'm going to put a, a seed of this grapefruit up in here. Because it's a grapefruit. It's really, 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 really good. Put that up.
like the top so i thought we need to put it different from them oranges but yeah But yeah, I don't fool with that. And so it is, yeah. Keep us posted. I'm preparing. Take my garden outdoors in the coming weeks. When it get warm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's time to start growing because that's where that's where we're evolving to. Being our own healers, being our own growers again. So it, it's time to start. If you pay attention to the things that's happening in physical reality, you can look at the bad of it if you want to. But like I said, there's two sides. So if you're going to have the bad that, oh, they manipulate the food, da, 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 da. Well, the good is that, oh, it's time for us to become our own healers and our own gardeners again. Oh, it's time for me to learn how to plant again. Because we all did this already. There's nothing new under the sun. We fell down, so to speak, in religion. They call it falling from grace or whatever. But we just went down to 10% of our brain capacity and we're just in this human form. And in falling down, we went through the cycle because we were talking about the blood type and the Anunnaki type. We we vibrate. We once were those beings, but now in this body, in this avatar suit, we're just like little people on TikTok, you know, little white person, little black person, little you know, little child, little mother, whatever you are right now. But you once were that. You know, everything has already been created. There's nothing new underneath the sun. So since we fell down, we're just on a journey remembering. So you can say the government is trying to manipulate the food and this and that outside of you is trying to do this. Nothing, nothing ain't happening outside of you. You just remembering who you are. And sometimes we're faced with things that we don't want to embrace in our journey to remember who we are. And it's just like, get off your butt. Be God again. And somebody, you know, somebody just pushing you to be God again. Pushing you to want to plant that garden again. Pushing you to want to learn about your body and your health and wellness. Because all of that ties to you exploring and getting to know yourself all over again. And that's what we're doing. Experiencing ourselves. Yeah. Ask your local gardening center for tips on your Southwest dirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, somebody, somebody out here in Arizona was telling me about sending off a sample. Because the soil out here needs nitrate in it. He has a really, really beautiful garden. And so I was listening to him. So I'm going to send my soil to some lab because I want to have rich, healthy soil for my food because this is going to be stuff that I'm eating. So I'm going to send my soil, my dirt, whatever, to the lab and see what minerals and stuff that I'm missing in order to have a, you know, a fully flourishing garden. And I'm going to make it big too because I want all of my fruits out there. I have an HOA though here in this neighborhood. So I don't think they're going to approve me to plant a coconut <laughs> to plant a coconut tree. But I wish they would because I think the coconut tree would be too high and they might have the potential of falling because they'd be having these little sandstorms out here. But boy, a selenium? Selenium is missing? Yeah, okay. Selenium. Yeah, you get that from um, Brazil nuts. Yeah, I, I could get that from Brazil nuts, but I'm going to find out. So, you must have did a, a sample yourself already, huh? That's really cool. Because you, you really you really into that gardening thing. Magnesium, too? Dang. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to send it to the lab to figure it out. Because I know in, the, in New Orleans, that swamp land out there it wasn't growing nothing. And my stuff would just choke up and die. I used to try, and it will just choke up and die. Because the soil was just so off. It was really hard to grow there. But people out here are really flourishing, flourishing with their garden. The people that I know out here are. You should um, sprout the orange seeds, then plant. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And believe it or not, you have to use, after I read that, I thought about the fact that the person that I'm talking about, he sent me a video on how to do that. Yeah, I will. I will. I'm just getting back home, so I didn't prepare my... Um, my seeds like I want to, but I'm gonna work on that this here week. I'm gonna work on that this here week so I can plant them and and have a successful um garden back there. Work on watching them videos and stuff because I'm new to this here part. I planted I planted um okra before, tomatoes, strawberries, and some lettuce and stuff before in a planter box, not in my soil when I was in New Orleans in boxes. 
of this rich soil that I have purchased, but this time I want to do it inside the ground. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get back on it. I never did I never did fruit before like I'm about to do. That's what I really want to do. Mostly fruit, mostly fruit. So we're gonna see how it go because that's what I want to eat. A coconut tree wouldn't grow over there. They need to be proper. Oh, they would. They, I mean, they do. I thought it, I thought they could be out here in the desert though. They got water in them because I'm thinking. I'm thinking the the cactus. They got water in the inside of there. I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing that with me. I will look into it. Well, they, Cause they got the palm tree. The palm tree big too. But well, they don't have no water in the palm tree. Huh? That ain't fair. That ain't fair. So that means I need to go out to Jamaica, huh? That's what you're saying, sixty six. <laughs> I need to move to Jamaica. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Hmm, you learned something new. Thank you for sharing that with me. You're thinking they eat palms. Oh, okay, yeah. Coconut is a tropical plant, not good for the desert. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Because also, I was thinking, I read, I well, not read, I was on YouTube and I was watching, um, this man surviving in the desert and he was he was um, cutting open up cactus because they had water inside and that's the water he was going to drink. The reason why I did this is because when I was on my way to the airport, the guy, the Uber driver was telling me about how being in the desert that they don't have a lot of water and what would the people do, you know, when the water stopped coming, you know, they had water shortages and, and I was like, well, there gotta be ways, and he it stimulated my thought. There gotta be ways. Maybe I can get one of those big old cactus. He was like, "Yeah, you're smart." And I was like, "Yeah, well, I mean, that was like a no brainer." And he was like, "Yeah, you gotta use your resources. You gotta read about it." And so I started researching about that because I felt like it'll be good for me to have a cactus in the backyard. That way, if there's a water shortage or anything. I'd be able to cut it, and I was trying to learn how to go. This kind of stuff is interesting to me, y'all. I'm I'm kind of nerdy, and I would go and I would open up the dirt cactus, and I would get me some water. If nobody else had none, I'd go suck on my cactus, cause I I I love that. I think that would be the coolest thing. Like if the water go out, I'd just be fine. Just like when I was in New Orleans. Just like when I used to be in New Orleans, I worked for an electric company, utility company out there in New Orleans. And I used to be like, man, I can't wait till the whole grid shut down. You know, shut that sucker down. Let's live off the sun. You know, I get off on just nature type stuff. Like, like, ooh, let's see. Let's see, you know, let's, 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 let's let this thing happen. <laughs> so I just be thinking about, you know, different ways to function here only on my my fruit so i want to have something that's why i want fruit because i know that they have life in them but now y'all saying this this desert thing i might not be able to grow some of these things that i'm saving seeds for but i'm gonna show sure try they grow here in florida yeah that's the perfect spot in florida yeah that's beautiful maybe i need to get me a property in florida too <laughs> yeah coconut trees are large but you never know yeah yeah Hey, hey, King of Kings, 88, I like that, 888, plus I like to eat, you like to eat it? Oh, okay, cool, I never had it before, I never had it before Miss being so, so I want to at least taste it, I see them all the time, they got, they, oh, they even have prickly pear, um, that's like in a family of cactus too, you see them on the side of the road and stuff, now I ate that. You know, and, and prickly pear is really, really good for you. Yeah, this is one of those superfoods for melanated beans. And they be on the side of the road. They really, really pick prickly. So, you you know, they have spikes on it. So, you got to kind of like shave that off. But in the inside, they kind of like have that consistency. They kind of like the aloe vera, um, the um, okra type consistency or whatever. It's really, really good. Good hydration. And like cactus. Man, I'm learning something on this here live. Yeah. Grow it indoors first, friend. Give it a shot. You never know. Yeah, because if you talk to it, you could give life to anything. You'd never know, like, right? You could give life to it. It happens to you. That's why I like to talk to plants and birds and stuff like that. That's a life force right there we'd be dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dragon Fruit. Oh, okay. I like Dragon Fruit too. Yeah, they sell them at, they sell those a lot at the international market. I eat it cooked, not raw. Oh, okay. You do eat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, for just put on the skin too in its raw form. It's really hydrating for your skin because your skin is an organ too, but you put on, penetrates inside of you. Actually, they also have cactus um, oil too that's really, really good for your skin, like for your face and stuff. The prickly, prickly pear oil. That's available on Amazon too. It's really, really good. You should look at the reviews on them. It's being sold. Yeah. But anyway, I am back. I am back on social media. I was gone for like about two two weeks, two and a half weeks, I think, traveling, relaxing, planning for my next chapter in my life, setting up my website for Sedona, doing closure on New Orleans, getting away from having to go back and forth. I was traveling back and forth, so I'm officially done, done, done with New Orleans. <laughs> I love that van. Oh, oh, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Um. Oh, it's about time. Ain't that funny? <laughs> yes, it was necessary, Clifton. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that L of water. I don't. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I tried it once before. I didn't like it myself. But nonetheless i'm back on social media and i really just wanted to say hi to everybody and catch up with everybody i ain't really come over here to talk about health and wellness but y'all know that's that's what i, I, I do <laughs> so nonetheless i'm about to get up in here and throw these oranges away finish my breakfast send out my orders and get back to my regular thing managing my website i want to share with you all i'm doing a retreat in september for sedona Sedona, Arizona. It's going to be women only. It's available on my website if you want to register. I only have a limited amount of people because I really want to keep it intimate in a small group. But check out if you want to register. You can register now uh, on my website. If you go to my site underneath my picture, you'll see 2023 Sedona Retreat. I'm only letting a few people. I hope if you, I'm hopeful if you want to, that you'll jump on this as soon as possible. I'm only letting a few people attend. We're going to be doing sound healing. We're going to be having real orange juice, organic fruits and food. We're going to be bike riding, hiking. We're going to be going to the vortexes, the red rock. We're going to be all together and just going with like-minded energy for purpose to increase our frequency, practice mindfulness, and get to know ourselves. I'm going to be doing consultations a hot seat for the members that you know participate each night until we get to the core of the inner girl inner self inner being and we find peace and balance with her and get to know herself and after the retreat you will be renewed you will be renewed mentally and spiritually and be able to to fulfill your wildest dreams because you'll be then reprogram your subconscious mind to the new belief that you want it to have. Not the default setting that you think it had, but you never penetrated through your subconscious mind. So I'm teaching how to do that and mindfulness. And just being together with like-minded people, the energy of those people bounces off to you. So I encourage you to at least look at what is all going to be offered. It's available on my website for this um, woman's retreat. It's going to be September 8th through 11th in Sedona, Arizona. This here is really the reason why I came or moved from Louisiana to be here in closest to Sedona because I knew that I was going to be doing these trips, these retreats rather, multiple times throughout the year because it is my passion to help people to change their life. I don't care if you don't want to be a vegan. I'm not trying to change you to become a vegan. But being mindful in, in, of your superpowers, being tapped into the knowledge of self and all the potential energy that you and your avatar self has, the potential of not just being an energy or atom, you start off as an atom, but you are on a journey to evolve to your Christ conscious state of being because you are the anointed one. And so in between, you meet people like myself that I might teach you some things about health and wellness, but it is 
the reason why I teach you these things, the reason why I share these things with you is because I know in between, if you do these things, it'll quicken your body to get you on the other side to your Christ conscious state of being. The reason why I do my consultations, the reason why I have my Power Within Transformation course, and the reason why we go and do Sedona is because we going we going up to that mount just like in biblical text. And we about to be about our father's business. And they and don't worry about the people that you leave behind. Just like the disciples on the bottom of the mount. They fell asleep because Jesus was at the mount so on top of the mount so long praying and fasting, so to speak, right? But that allegory text was teaching you in that parable how to increase your frequency, how to be attuned to things outside of you that's energetically present in certain parts of this world that will increase your frequency, clear your mind, get you out of your environment to a higher peaceful state of being and get to know yourself and pull back the layers of that onion of that self and just allow you to just be what you came for it to be. So it, it is my promise to you that your life can change if you join us on this here retreat. Even if you don't want to take them on the retreat, your life's still going to change now. It's still going to change because you're the operant power. When you're ready to change it, it's going to change. But I'm offering the retreat so we can be in one another presence. But this appointed time, it's going to be four days. It's going to be a limited amount of people. I'm going to be making sure you have a healthy breakfast and a healthy dinner. You, they're going to have light. Like meat options for those who like the meat. Like I say, I ain't trying to make you a vegan. I'm just trying to make your body lighter because you're a light being. I'm just trying to make your body lighter so that your your land that's flowing with milk and honey can secrete your crystals fluid and then you can step into the state of being and being a conscious person all over again. Mind, body, and soul. Okay? Yeah, the dates is September 8th. Through September 11th, Sedona, Arizona, a woman's only retreat. Security will be available. Food will be available. Hiking, bow healing, meditation practice. We doing it all. We go into the mountain, y'all. We go into the mountain and you will not be the same. It is my promise to you. When I, this, when I first went to these mountains, I went back home to New Orleans and Hurricane Ida hit. And I said, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm moving out there. I'm not going through this no more. And I did. And now that I'm here, I said when I move out here, I'm going to do retreats because that, it, that place, the, the energy out here at these mountains changed my life. And I want it to change yours. I want you to get grounded out of there. I want you to experience this thing and you carry this thing after that retreat. You carry this thing with you in your heart and you go and you create and you in the life that you want and you step into being creator, creating and manifest the manifesting because you'll know your power then. Your thoughts will be so clear, so at peace, man. I have no negative thinking out there. You, you can't even freaking think low when you're so high. That's how, that's how, that's how much of a high frequency it is just being in this environment, you know, because let me tell you, wherever you live right now today, your environment, you're picking up on the signal and the thoughts of them people that's in that environment in your neighborhood. <laughs> that's why it's so important that you surround yourself with like-minded energy of peaceful environments because you are energy and you're picking up on those signals. But baby, when you come out here to Sedona, Arizona, and you pick up on a peaceful, energetic, <laughs> clear-minded environment with nature, clear skies, the sun electrifying your body, you being at about four to 5,000 foot elevation in the sky, baby, game changer, game changer, do what you can to be there. I'm not going to be um, live while I'm there. I might, you know, do little uploads when I come back. But it's a personal, you got to be there kind of experience to really get the totality. Maybe the other ladies that's coming, maybe they'll be doing clips. But I personally am not. I want them to have their own experience. So I'm not going to be going live there with them. They paid for their experience. I want to give them their experience. But do what you got to do to make that retreat. 
Your make it you make it your your, your your Las Vegas to spin. <laughs> you make it, you know, to Florida to go swim to have that experience. Do a experience of vacation for your soul, the larger part of you that is yearning for expansion. It wants more. It wants this type. Okay? This type of experience sounds great. So check it out at least. Put up your name if you're interested on the link that's on my website. You don't have to pay just yet. I want to see who's all potentially interested. So fill out the form if you're potentially interested. Because the form just activates you to be able to receive the invoice for your first down pay, I mean deposit. So if you're interested at least, put your name up in here. Because I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cut it off. I'm only letting a handful of people come. Put your name up in there so I'll know. And the name can um, maybe hold you some time until you make up your mind if you're potentially interested. But if you're sure, put your name up in here and I'll send you the um, invoice for your um, deposit to lock in your space. I have the dates listed when your um, deposits and you can, we can break it down into three payments. And when your deposit and the next payment is going to be listed, if you have any questions at the bottom of the screen, you can write in your comment or question that you would ask and we can have an uh, exchange based upon your um, question or feedback or reply that you put down there in the box on the form that you have to fill out today. Check it out. You don't want to miss it. I ain't going to be talking about it much because the spot's going to go fast and I already know of 10 people that are already serious and I don't want to have more than 20 people there. To keep it intimate, to keep it personal, and because that's gonna be a lot of juicing and stuff that I'm gonna have to do. Cause you know what? Before I go, I wanna say you want one more thing. I was about to go into the vegan truck business, where I was gonna be cooking vegan food for people. So I am actually gonna be hands on preparing these vegan meals with these healthy spices and herbs that I speak of, and the healthy fresh drinks and coconuts. We, you know, we're gonna have coconut water, right? You know we're going to have coconut oil out there, right? You know we're going to have all the exotic fruits, uh, fruits out there, right? So there's going to be a lot of prepping. And I'm excited about that part because I get to be able to help with the health aspect, with the energy ha aspect, with, with the environment aspect. And at night, we're going to be doing consultations too. I'll be helping with mind, body, and soul. This is me stepping into my purpose and my passion 100%. So I'm really excited about it. I know it's going to be a lot. But guess what? I love it. So it ain't going to be like work to me. It's going to be fun to me because I was born for this year. <laughs> okay, I'm about to wrap this year. Let's see. Hell, I want to go. <laughs> Cliff to say hell, I want to go. It's not for men just yet. I want to do the first one with the ladies. And then next time, Clifton, next time we're going to have the men up in here. Amazing. So amazing. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Love to go to Arizona. Yeah, you got to come. I can't find information about the retreat. Go to soldofthearthpub.org. There's a picture of me. Underneath the picture of me, there's you're going to see it scrolling down underneath me. It's going to have the Power Within Transformation Core. The next one is, should be Sedona, Arizona Retreat. And then maybe my book. But it's scrolling across. So wait for the picture or click on the arrow that's underneath me. You'll see it. It's there. <laughs> great job. Great job. Do one for men next. I will. I will. I definitely will. Email to inquire. Let them know you're interested. Yep. Yep. Okay. Link in my bio. Go to my website. Underneath the picture of me, you'll find the information about the retreat. Register for the retreat. There ain't going to be a lot of seats. I might not even have to talk about it no more after today because I know these people going to jump on it. But you want to get your name in there. It will be a blessing to your soul. Anyway, this video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe.